So if you've been watching the Scene World channel regularly, you would have seen my unboxing of the Zap Annual 2018 as part of the Kickstarter campaign for Fusion Retro Books. There was the chance to pledge for a perk in the form of a new Commodore 64 game. So let's uh, reveal that game. Here we have Sizzler for the Commodore 64 from Micron 64 on Cytronic. Let's play it game time. Emulating the classic Imagine style packaging. Sizzler. Mick Free has always dreamed of creating a game like his heroes from the past. A C64 game with great graphics and wonderful Sid music. After a few failed attempts, he decides now is the time. Help McFree roam the rooms of the developer's offices and find as much code, art, music and ideas as you can. Then take him to Stu the programmer, Trev the artist, Saul the musician and Ken's in the duplication room. Then finally take your finished game to the Zap offices and try your best to get a Zap Sizzler. Fame or utter failure await you in this epic quest. Screenshots from actual Commodore 64. This is the Zap 64 Annual 2019 Kickstarter Edition. Programming by Stuart Collier, game design and graphics by Trevor Story, with music by Saul Cross. And incidentally, game testing by myself and Matt Allen. So there's the tape inside. It's been a lot of fun testing this game for Stu, Icon64. I know Stu through my uh, work with Ovine by Design, who did PC Remix, and it's glorious cover art by Trevor, as usual. As mentioned, this is currently going out to Kickstarter backers only. There will be a separate edition on sale from Cytronic during 2019. So now we have chance to look at some gameplay from the Commodore 64. So it's time for part two of this retro unboxing. I have a parcel from Fusion Retro Books and as we can see this is the cartridge version of Sizzler association with Cytronic and Icon64. If we look at the Mac, yeah. same blurb about uh, Mike Free the robot wanting to make a game. Screenshots from the C64 version of course. And then we go into the packaging itself. Start with a very nice Sizzler branded cartridge. We have a nice little extra surprise, didn't realise these were in here. RGCD and Sardonic Software badges, obviously RGCD have made the cartridges. And RGCD vinyl sticker. We have two RGCD postcards showing several of their games. Remember, also digital downloads available from itch.io. So then the user manual, story, loading, very handy map, which includes hints as to where to find the hidden rooms, the game controls status panel, credits on the back, the game testers are credited in the game complete sequence so there's tape and cartridge versions and the disc version is eminent from Cytronic so we'll pack this back up so here we have the cartridge menu for Sizzler a demo from The Sky's Falling, the intro demo. 
a Legend of Atlantis intro. The Jabbering Monkeys music demo playing the music from Scissor. And then the game itself. So we'll press fire to start. And Cytronic presents Sizzler, a game by Icon64, in association with Fusion Retrobooks, coding by Stuart Collier, art and game design by Trevor Smiler Story, music and sound effects by Saul Cross, help McFree fulfill his dream to create his very own game and get a fabled zap sizzler from Julian Rignall and Roger Keane who you can see on screen. So let's start the game. Basic controls are left right, fire to jump, down to duck, you can hang on to ledges, jump over the enemies or take it and lose a heart and you're looking for the small icons. So there are five music icons, five discs, representing code, five space invaders representing graphics, and then five light bulbs which are bonus items and increase your final rating. You need to find all five to get 90% and the fabled sizzler. So you can see it's very much a case of moving from screen to screen trying to avoid the enemies, which I'm doing badly in this game. And here we can see the disc icon, which we'll have to take to Stu, Collier, the coder. Space Invaders, you have to find all five, take to Trevor Smiley, Trevor Story, Smiler, the artist, and once you have each of those pieces, here's Saul in the music department, hidden behind a door, you'll have to find the coloured key to open that door. Once you've got all five of an icon and taken it to the relevant person, you'll get one third of the tape. Now when you have all three sections of the tape, you have to find Ken's, Jason McKenzie from Binary Zone, who will handle the tape duplication, and once that is flashing, you then have to take the finished tape to the Zap offices, crossing the deadly Ludlow High Street. And Julian and Roger will rate the game and give you your final score. As you can see, I'm not doing very well here, I'm losing energy quickly. There are also some doors to unlock with the keys and some hidden rooms. And that is, unfortunately, game over. So just a very brief look at Sizzler, part of the ZAP annual 2019 Kickstarter. It's a good fun game. I had a lot of fun helping to test it. And it is now available from Cytronic Software. I have, as you saw in the opening, the clamshell tape and the cartridge. So I'm just offering the tape and disc versions at present. So keep watching the Scene World channel for more unboxing videos, more reviews and more interviews.